Hi, it's great that we can be together again today. And I hope that this message finds you well and that you'll find some of the peace and togetherness of God and God's people in this message. We're going to look at 1 John 3 verse 1 to 10 today. But first, before I read from this passage, when I think about this passage, it reminds me of my childhood and being part of a family. But it also reminds me of being a child of faith. And I remember being a kid that I was always afraid. You can easily be afraid if you focus on sin. And am I doing the right thing? Or am I not doing the right thing? And what is sin? And in this passage, we see something about sin and that sin is not a list of things that we do. It's rather, am I together with God? Am I within God? Or am I choosing to be without God? So in that sense, sin becomes a word of relationship. Am I in a relationship with God or not? I'll read to us uh, from this passage. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He is. And everyone who thus hopes in Him purifies himself as He is pure. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or know him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. I'm going to read till there. Now, how do you experience God? Normally, I experience God's presence within other people. I know in togetherness that I'm not alone, and I see something of God in the people that surround me. Earlier, I spoke about Alexander Shire, who told us about how the people practiced Lent, and in the early church. And it was not like, like we do to get, uh, today where we, um, where we put off certain things where we don't eat chocolate or don't drink coffee or things like, like that. They came together over Easter weekend and they were already celebrating. But in their celebration, they also sat and saw what did we, where did we miss the mark? Where did we not see each other? Where was I not part of the family? And in this passage, we see something of that togetherness, of being part of a family. I pray and hope that you find a family where you can be part of God's children, where you can experience the the wholeness and the togetherness of being with God. May that be with other people, and may you you share God's presence with others. I hope you have a very blessed week. Goodbye.